Leviticus 13, let's call this one spreading because this is a part of principles on clean and unclean things that deals with leprosy and disease that has a high potential for spreading. And one of the first things to possibly notice is that leprosy didn't have to start out as leprosy. It could develop from an improperly treated underlying condition, something as simple as a boil or a burn that was not treated to full healing. So one of the first things to notice is that timing was really huge, but not just timing, but scope, because it's going to go on into chapter 14 to say that leprosy is not something that can just overwhelm your skin. It can spread through a garment and it can spread through the walls of a home to the point where the home would have to be demolished because the leprosy had taken over. And so the scope helps us to understand a practical application for us today. Look, I rarely feel that I'm caught up on all the things that I need to get done and things like administrative matters. Oh my goodness, I feel convicted about that one or small medical matters. I don't necessarily understand the full scope of them on the front end, but I can rarely feel like I have a convenient moment to take care of them. But there are times when I need to really pause and just take the amount of time that's due. So even when I don't feel like I have one day, much less seven days, which was the standard period of observation that helped the priest to understand which direction to go in treating the leprosy, um, hopefully in situations where I don't feel like I have a day or seven, I can be what they call not penny wise and pound foolish with my time. I cannot be so determined to get uh, my primary goals accomplished that I neglect small matters that I'm completely unaware are turning into something serious. And perception is a huge problem. Because see, when leprosy did start out as leprosy, it could start out as a small spot that I wouldn't recognize, but an expert might recognize right away. Oh my goodness, the medical implications are uh, right there on the face to the degree you're dealing with the small things. Sometimes maybe it's important to just go ahead and check in with that doctor right on the front end for an extended application. Sometimes it's important if you've got people you can delegate to, you're blessed. And so if you can take a moment to reach out to people you just don't want to bother, but you got this thing that you needed to deal with, it seems like a small matter, but you haven't had time to pay attention to it, maybe ask God to help open your eyes to either opportunities you might have, windows of opportunity in your own time, or people who might be willing to help you take care of a small matter. It doesn't seem like it's a big deal, but a little bit of professional insight or expert insight can help you evaluate really whether or not it's something that needs to be put off until later so that we don't add to it another thing that we learn about leprosy, which is it's a very shameful disease. So in our lives, the fact that we just don't have time to do with some things that seem small can be made worse when they come up in otherwise shameful areas that we feel reluctant to mention to anyone else. So additionally, my prayer for all of us is that when we have matters where we don't feel like we have enough time and procrastination is made even easier when it comes up in an area that's shameful, that additionally God will give us the courage to reach out to people who can help uh, sort through um, whether or not it's really uh, wise to put, uh, like we said again, a seemingly small matter on the back burner. And so with that, I pray that God give us uh, both the time, uh, the, the team, or the people who love us, and uh, the courage uh, to deal with matters, whether they're shameful or not, um, in a timely manner so that we can avoid the pain that comes with ignoring matters that need to be dealt with right now. God's best to you as you go forward in that moment.